What up, people of the internet? Erica here today. I'm coming to you with my January wrap-up. So stay tuned. Look at these shelves. Aren't they neat? Wouldn't you think my collection's complete? Wouldn't you think I'm the one? The one who has all the books on these shelves. Adventures are told. How many adventures can one shelf hold? Looking around, do you think? Sure, I've got all the books. Alrighty, it's my January wrap up. This month, I completed. I completed twenty six books. Not bad, not bad. I mean, it's not the most of it I've ever read in a month, but it's certainly not the least that I've ever read. So, yeah. Let's get this party started. Get this party started, yeah. So, let's get, yeah, seriously, let's get this started. Alright, so. The very first book that I finished of the year, which was absolutely amazing, and it happened to be a poetry book which is weird for me so the chaos of longing by k y robinson a pink book <laughs> i read a lot of pink books this month you guys this one was 149 pages i ended up giving this one of five stars and i finished it on the first such a good book Then, I completed Things We Hide From The Light by Lucy Score. Obviously, I gave this five stars. I've been giving all of Lucy Scores so far that I've read five stars. This one is 574 pages. I forgot to, to write down the page count. And I finished it on the 6th. So... I went five days without completing a book, which is why I didn't read as much this month. I just, I've been in the mood to write lately, so. Then I finished, to be honest, I Don't Know What's Next by Lisa Greenwald. This is actually book four in the series, but it's, it is what it is. <laughs> so this one was 239 pages. And I gave it four stars, and I finished it on the seventh. Then I reread Heartstopper, Volume One, by Alice Oseman. I was supposed to buddy the buddy read these with my best friend Jessie, and well, she's a slow reader, and I am obsessed with the series, so I like devoured it and finished it already so obviously I'm giving it five stars and this was 263 pages and I finished it on the 7th and it was another pink book <laughs> then I finished By a Thread by Lucy Score another pink book obviously I gave it five stars and this was 548 pages, and I finished it on the 12th. So, I went, what, like, four days without finishing another book between, between, um, Heartstopper and By a Thread. Then I finished Shiver by Junji Ito. This was a reread for me. Uh... This I ended up, of course, giving it five stars, and it was 382 pages, and I finished it on the 13th. Then I finished Wildfire by Hannah Grace. This one was 383 pages. I gave it three stars, and I finished it on the 14th. Next, let me make sure, 
Next, I finished Killjoy by Holly Jackson. Um, I have cat hair on me. Why is that? This one was 117 pages. I ended up giving it five stars, and I finished it on the 14th. Okay, then let's see. Next, I completed the, st the Statistical Probability of Love at First Sight by Jennifer E. Smith. Another pink book, because it's got a pink spine. Um, this was 236 pages. I gave it four stars, and I finished it on the 14th. Okay, let's see. Next, I finished Instructions for Dancing by Nicola Yoon. This one was 281 pages. I gave it five stars and I finished it on the 15th. Don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. Okay. Next I finished to volumes two, three, four, and five of Heartstopper by Alice Oseman. Of course, I gave them all five stars. And I finished uh, two, three, and four on the 15th. Finished volume five on the 16th. Then I completed Maxfield Parish Early Endu Poems by Eileen Miles. This one was 229 pages. I gave it three stars and I finished it on the 19th. Okay, then I finished The Sprite and the Gardener by Rye Abrego and Joe Witt. Um, I read this via the Libby app ebook form. It was only 88 pages. I gave it four stars and I finished it on the 20th. Then I finished the one that completely broke me. Oh. Binding 13 by Chloe Walsh. I need the next book, y'all. I really need the next book. This, I'm gonna cry again just thinking about it. So it was 608 pages of, oh my God, my heart feels like it's gonna fall out of my chest. <laughs> so yeah, five stars and I finished it on the 21st. Y'all, that book kill me. I would have to say that one's my favorite out of the month, honestly. Next, I finished My Best Friend's Exorcism by Grady Hendrix. I really enjoyed this a lot more than I thought I was going to. Uh, this was 332 pages. I gave it four star, three, yeah, four stars, and I finished it on the 21st. Next, I finished Assistant to the Villain by Hannah Nicole Mayer, 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 Mayer. <laughs> This was 340 pages. I gave it four stars and I finished it on the 22nd. I'll have a mess to clean up. Then I finished volume seven of The Lumberjanes by Shannon Waters called A Bird's Eye View. This one was 111 pages. I gave it four stars and I finished it on the 22nd. Oh 
I'm out of breath, yo. Okay. All right. Next, I finished Letters to Women Like Me by Mirtha Michelle Castro Marmel. It was a poetry book. This one was 158 pages. I gave it four stars and I finished it on the 23rd. Alrighty. Where was I? Next, I finished The Winter Station by Jody Shields. This was 334 pages. I DNF'd it at page 198, and I DNF'd it on the 23rd. I really wanted to love this book. I mean, I gave it almost 200 pages, and I still just I was so bored. And I didn't want to put myself into a reading slump, so I just TNF'd it. Maybe I'll finish it some other time. Probably not. I'll probably just unhaul it, but whatever. The next book I finished was another reread. It was Everything, Everything by Nicola Yoon. Since I read the other one by Nicola Yoon, the something about dancing. See, I already forgot. I'm getting old. Uh, this one was 306 pages. Of course, I gave it five stars and I finished it on the 24th. Then I finished Squished by Megan Wagner Lloyd and Michelle Me Nutter. This was 245 pages. I gave it four stars and I finished it on the 29th. Then I finished Smile by Raina Tel Telgemeier. This was 214 pages. I gave it four stars and I finished it on the 29th. And last but certainly not least is another poetry book that I finished called Light Theory and the Darkness Within the Human Body by Robert M. Drake. This one, with 208 pages, whew, 208 pages, I gave it four stars and I finished it on the 29th. On the 30th, I did a bunch of writing. Today is the 31st, which I am planning to do more writing. So that's why I went ahead and I just did my wrap up because I don't plan on finishing anything today either. So, except maybe some more writing. But anyway, Kitty! <laughs> He's been an asshole today, by the way. I mean, Seth. Anyway, I hope you do like this video. If you do, please give me a big thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, please click that subscribe button down below. <laughs> well, all of my links are down below, and I will get it to you guys in the next one. Later. I've got romance and nonfiction, a many. I've got horror and dystopian galore. You want fantasy? I've got plenty. But who cares? No big deal. I want.